Yes, we're here. Yes, we're back. It's Bob and Ian Joy with you, back with more digital content to make your brain feel good. Is that a good way to put it, Ian? It certainly is a real good feeling right now to be sitting here opposite you, Bob. I'll tell you that much. I feel the same way. And you're doing something different. I mean, you're finding tons of ways to spend your time while we're still in lockdown and still getting through this. And one of the ways is you created your own YouTube channel. And your first piece of content was talking to an ex-teammate about mental health. Now, you've said why it's important to you. Why did you pick him as your first subject? Great question. Well, I think it's an important time right now to focus on mental health because a lot of people, especially around our region in New York, that are going through a difficult time and mental health comes into it in one way or another. So I wanted to put some content out there that would maybe give people um, an opportunity to listen, to share their voice, but also maybe some advice. So I tried to think of the best and most interesting person that I could talk to first and foremost about mental health. And it was a former teammate of mine, obviously a soccer player in England. Uh, this guy played 17 years as a professional soccer player for 21 different teams. He scored like 121 goals. Um, but when he finished his 17-year professional career, he was bankrupt and went to rehab. I mean, he had all sorts of addictions. He was struggling with his life, and he went through a real depressive state. So it was important for me to actually focus on somebody that people could maybe be interested in, but also at the same time had a story that would blow people's minds. And he's turned his life around completely after rehab, and now he's helping other people. So for me, it was important because we're going through a difficult time right now to give people content that maybe gives them an opportunity to share their own voice, but also recognize that it's important for them to have a smile on their face and realize they're not alone during times like this. You know, I, I probably keep it too simple when I think this way, but sometimes it's really just about finding a way to turn a negative into a positive. I'm not yeah. really the kind of guy that will sit down and meditate for 30 minutes, but when I'm feeling down about something or something's bugging me, it's just, what am I grateful for? It can be yeah. an easy, as easy as a couple minutes. Is that fair to say sometimes? Yeah, absolutely. I think right now when you're going through a difficult period that you have to try and have a focus away from the difficult period you're going through. So me, I use fitness. I work out every single day. I get up. I even do a bit of yoga. I'll try to meditate a little bit. I'll read a book. I'll spend some time. Maybe it is time with the kids that will help you rejuvenate your brain, stimulate your brain. People need to find whatever it is to give them some sort of joy and relaxation in their mind. And hopefully I did that with the interview I'm doing. I do have a YouTube channel now, Bob, and I'm yes. thanking you for actually promoting it for me. Yeah. I subscribed. I'm on yes. me. You'll see me following the content. Hey, so I got to ask you this because you brought yep. up the fitness side of it, and that's a great outlet. So when you work out, are there different levels of music or are you sometime raging? It's crazy hardcore music or is it always pretty much the same? You get a little Zen sometimes maybe. I don't know. I'm just asking. Well, I do like the rock and roll when I'm working out. That's for sure. It certainly gets into a little more heavier metal type of music. I listen to a bit of Metallica when I want to go fast. And then if I want to go a little bit slower, I'll listen to a band like the 1975 or some old school 80s music. That's what gets me going. What about you? Uh, I do the same, do some kind of physical activity or just the other day, just to kind of, I mean, I, I always listen to the hard music too, you know, the Breaking Benjamin, Metallica, Five Finger Death Punch, a lot of, a lot of crazy stuff that shocks some of my, uh, my colleagues when they listen to it. <laughs> but you know what I did the other day, the complete flip side of that? I yeah. took a walk and in this day and age, if not a lot of cars around the road and everything, I was walking through my neighborhood. I stopped Ian and I just looked up at a tree and listened to these two birds that basically felt like they were talking back and forth together, right? And you, just, moment, right? and you notice things in your neighborhood you never would have noticed before. I think that's the period of time we're in right now, Bob, where everybody's taking a step back from the 100 mile an hour life that we were living and are now starting to find a new appreciation for life. This is a difficult time that people are going through. And that's one of the reasons why we keep coming up with these cool challenges. And uh, speaking of challenges, Bob. Yes. Well, right here. Oh, I want to know. Text challenge. So quickly explain what our text challenge was. You, you hit me with it. All right. So what we did is we decided to text the most famous person from our selected sport. So for me, it was soccer. For you, it was baseball. And it was the most famous person that was in your, what would I say, your phone book, right? Yeah. And who was yours? Mine was David Justice. 
Okay, and mine was a famous soccer player that the Italians will know called Christian Vieri. 2.5 million followers on Instagram. Just saying, Bob, I hope he texts me back. You want to know if David te texts me back? Yeah, so the challenge was that whoever got text back first and foremost would win. And then if both text messages came back with a reply, it was who got the text message back fast enough. So right, did so you get a reply and when did that come? The quick answer is yes. I got a reply. It took seven hours and 26 minutes to get the text back. What about you? Are you calling that a friend, Bob? <laughs> <laughs> I got a text message back two hours and 12 minutes, two hours, wow. actually two hours and 14 minutes, two hours and 14 minutes after I sent that message from Christian Vieri. I'm all good, Ian. I'm at home with the family for more than a month already. How are you and the family? Staying home? Kiss, kiss. <laughs> <laughs> I got a sup below. We are good. Are you in New York? And then we went on to talk about how his son just signed with UCLA to play football there. And, I chided him for no USC and said, you know what? His son's going to have a good time at UCLA. So I love it that they reached well out. Done. Yeah, I love it that they reached out, though. Respect to yeah. both of them. Thanks so much for replying. And, and that's what this is all about, Bob, is if someone has an opportunity to reach out to family or friends or people that they haven't heard from for a long time, like me and you, Tex, and our famous people in our direction yeah. right there, it's important to reach out to people during times like this. And hopefully this challenge here put a smile on someone's face who's watching. Yeah, and you know what? Anybody who's watching, you can also hit either of us up on Twitter. We're there to answer questions or just hang out. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. Good to see you, Ian. Good to see you, brother.